Well, unfortunately, we're not going to have any Wonder Woman here. We do have Batman. We don't have Aquaman either. And essentially, that's about all we're going to be able to get out of these heroes because this is about as far as FTC got on these 18-inch figures. So what you're looking at are 18-inch versions of original Mego figures or FTC's take on the original Mego figures in classic boxes. Now, I don't want to go turning them around, but they are classic boxes. We'll turn around in a minute. And the only thing they got through through was uh, got done was Batman. Robin with a removable mask. Now, this is a removable mask Robin. I don't know if you can tell. You certainly can tell from this one he's a removable mask Robin. And that was an Entertainment Earth exclusive down there. That's the only thing that he was on. Then we had regular Robin. And then they also made the Riddler. This box a little bit faded. They had the Joker, who's just absolutely phenomenal. I think he's great. In 18-inch format, he's fantastic. And Superman. All taken from basically original Mego molds or FTC remolds and, and put into figures they come with the oven, oven mitts they come with removable shoes removable costumes it's an 18 inch body now the quality on them it's okay it's not something you're going to hand a five-year-old say hey or go enjoy this toy because he'll have it broken in about five minutes however what i can tell you is that they're really great figures they do take a lot of room which is the one negative thing about them to say uh what's difficult is where do we place them they're hard to display if you don't have a lot of room, which I don't. I'm running out of room. But the boxes are great. They've got the whole series here. Each box is a little bit different. They've even got the, the back, if you will. Great graphics on there. Recommended for children over eight years of age. And then on the other side, we have some of that original art. Same thing with the Joker. They did a nice job on that Joker. The outfit's good. It's shiny. But they have figures on here that were never made, such as Mixoplex and Bizarro. But they did make the Riddlers you saw a moment before. The back, Batman's arch enemy, the Joker. Did a nice job, Figure Toys Company. And then on the side, they've got the Penguin, the Joker, and the Scarecrow. It's such a shame that they didn't make some of these other figures. I think they would be great in an 18-inch format. I think the Penguin on an 18 inch fat body, but maybe a little shorter to kind of bring him into play would be pretty cool. The Riddler's a good job. They did a good job of them. The belt's removable, hands are all molded in color. Here we go. We've got the Riddler, Mixoplex, and Bizarro. It's a great uh, representation of the Riddler in the back. Doesn't look anything like the new Riddler in the new The Batman movie, which if you haven't seen it, I'm not going to give you any any spoilers, but I tell you, you need to get your butt out there and see that movie. It's fantastic. Now, here's the regular Robin, or the painted-on mask Robin, if you will. Just like Mego. And you can take a look. It's great mold. Now, these heads are not neck plug. These heads are pop-on heads. Like the newer figures you're seeing pop up in the 8-inch market. Like the new Migos, if you will. They have Aquaman, unfortunately, never made. Green Arrow, he would have been great. And Shazam. I'm not so big a Shazam fan. I know some of you guys love him. That's cool. There's nothing wrong with that. And of course, there's our Robin on the back. The Boy Wonder. And we'll go to the other side. We've got Superman, Batman, and Robin himself. All right. Now, moving on. These two are actually the same uh, same figure. I actually had to buy an auction with two figures, so I got them. But this one, the elastic on the mask is kind of stretched out, so it's not staying on. We'll have to fix that later. But you can see he's got his oven mitts. He's got the same mold. Again, with the side. You can see who's here. He's got the same picture on the back. And so on. The difference is, obviously, with this one, the figure inside. And obviously, that now that one box doesn't have it. I don't know why. This box does, but if you take a look, we've got the Entertainment Earth exclusive. And here he is with the mask on. And the max, mask is a little, a little twisted on him right there. But they did a nice job with these. For display, these are fantastic. And, you know, you think about having a 18-inch style Mego for you diehard collectors and superhero collectors are fantastic. And here's Batman. There he is. There's Batman. His pink box, if you will. 
His belt's twisted, it looks like, a little bit. Just slightly over to the side there, if you will. But he's got a great outfit. He's got his cape, similar to the one that they made. Same style. This box is a little bit worn, but Batman's one of the hardest ones to get. I guess he's probably the ones that sold. And then they stopped making them. And honestly, I don't know how much they cost when they started. Somebody said $100. Somebody said $50. I'm not really sure. But I have to tell you, I really like these figures. And, you know, I was in uh, the We Are Mego group, created and run by Roger Gilpin, the original We Are Mego group, not the real We Are Mego group, which I'm not quite sure why somebody would do that. But regardless. So, yeah, so these are. Uh, down a little bit he showed some of these in a, in a in a post one day and like i said as always you know the posts in these groups are what makes collecting so much fun how much we learn you know all the kinds of stuff that we learn from other collectors and that's what really makes it fun isn't it sharing and enjoying now this looks like a complete batman array if you will we've got batman two versions of Robin, the Riddler, the Joker, and then Superman. And that's about it. Like I said, the Green Arrow, Shazam would be pretty cool. Aquaman would have been great. mix up Blix would have been cool too. He's not my favorite character, but he'd be pretty cool, I think, in one of these. I think if they did the Scarecrow, that would be neat. But they did a good job. And I got to hand it to Anthony over at FTC. These guys, they do a good job. You know, I know some of the stuff people complain about quality and Listen, that seems to be a problem running around all over the place unless you're getting the uh, bandless type S2 bodies from Castaway Toys or Plastic Zombie Toys. And I know they're starting to put those in at FTC, but unless you're getting them, the figures really are just uh, not the way they used to make them, are they? So let's take a quick little look over here. You know, and guys, this is like the beauty of collecting. Like I said, it's, it's one of those things where, um, you know, you, you learn all this. I mean, this is a pretty, it's a pretty vast collection. There's quite a lot of stuff and this has been accumulated over the last three years or so. Just so you know, this is, and this is all from other collectors, you know, pointing me in the direction of these things where we go. So let's get the uh, Batman, eight inch Batman, if you will. We'll get the uh, eight inch Robin, if you will. And we'll get soups. Unfortunately, I don't have a super complete soups. He's missing his cape, but that's okay. And let's let's take a little look and let's take a little comparison just to give you guys an idea of, of what we're dealing with here. So size-wise, I'll put them right in front of their respective character. And my Robin just happens to be the elastic band Robin, but you could take a look. Look at the difference in that, you know? It almost looks more than 18 inches tall, you know? Uh, it's probably a little bit in the box, if you will, stood up. And there's Robin. Now, of course, I have the elastic band one, not the plastic band one. But you can see he's in a good spot. And, of course, Soup's mine's missing the sticker, if you will. So, do any of you guys collect any of these figures? Anybody else collect these 18-inch FTC Figures. I know they've also made the monkeys, but I'm not really into the monkeys. It was a great show, and they were a good band at the time, and they were a lot of fun, but I'm just not into 18-inch monkeys figures. These, though, I can deal with. These, I think, are pretty cool, and uh, they're a lot of fun. So what do you guys think? Anybody going out running out to collect them? They're not easy to find. I did get them all within a period of a month. Took a little bit. Um, some of them are available on eBay. You can find them, maybe some other places. Uh, I know there's been Superman up there. They've gone for about $49.95, plus your eBay taxes and shipping. Joker was a little tough. Riddler, he's out there. He's expensive. Robin, kind of a pain. Actually, it's weird. I got two removable mask Robins before I got two regular Robins, and Batman was probably one of the toughest. So what do you guys think? Put your comments in. All right, so you guys got to take a look at some nine inch, uh, sorry, 18 inch FTC figures and compare to their original counterparts by Mego, if you will. Uh, some of these guys, the original Mego. This is, this is the, the Mego that I remember and the Mego that I grew up with when I was a kid. And uh, Batman and Robin were essential 
to that uh, to that collecting. Uh, I had the Joker. I remember that for sure. I kept that Joker for right the Hulk. I had Spider Man. I had Superman. And uh, I know pretty much. I probably think a lot of people here probably had those back in the day. Uh, but yeah. But so the 18 inch figures are really cool. Uh, they came. They were made back in 2015. So it's been about seven years. They're definitely harder to find. You probably have to find somebody unloading their stuff or somebody may have a supply somewhere. Again, not too many out there. Um, I like them, they're oversized, they're big. You know, I'm not a huge fan of the new Mego stuff. I just, for many reasons, I'm not a fan of them. However, the 14 inch figures that they made, I do like them more. I like them better than the eight inch figures. And I was always an eight inch figure kind of collector. Um, I've expanded some into some things like uh, Pulsar, uh, the G.I. Joe, uh, $6 million man, Electro Man is a huge figure. I think that's a 16 inch or 18 inch figure as well. His buddy Zog there. Um, yeah, and, and I've expanded my collection to there. And these larger figures are really cool. They're just kind of tough to display because they take a lot of room. But the 14 inch Migos, as, as much as, like I said, I don't really, I'm not a fan of the 8 inch stuff very much. And, company as a whole I'm not thrilled with but um, the 14 inch figures I actually liked the, the, the bodies themselves they had weight to them um, I don't know the quality wise if they were that great I remember uh, speaking with a couple guys like Tony May and said their pelvises just cracked apart I mean the quality control seems to be a problem everywhere today uh, but the figures themselves I, I did like them um, I have a bunch of them boxed somewhere I don't know I'm pretty much getting rid of all my eight inch figures and giving them away, which actually reminds me, if you do subscribe and like, you have a chance to win uh, free action figures of toys. Yes, you do. And um, we're giving them all away. So we're gonna get rid of them. I don't want any money for them. I'm just gonna ship them to you. You do whatever you like with them and hope you'll enjoy them. So uh, yeah, that's our, our next thing giveaway that we'll be doing. We do them every couple of weeks, we'll give away figures. But uh, yeah, but getting back to the 14 inch figures, I thought they were actually quite cool. Uh, quality not super great, but I thought, you know, besides the obvious things that are kind of crappy about the figures, overall I thought they were pretty good. On a one to 10, I'd probably give them like a six or a seven. Um, they've got weight to them, the scale's good, the type two body or type two style body in a 14 inch format or an 18 inch format, I think looks great. I think it really kind of just stands out as opposed to the, you know, eight inch format, which is okay, um, and so on, but I don't know. Are you guys 14 inch collectors or do you guys just stay in the eight inch scale? So I'd be curious to find out what you guys are doing with that, how many people are actually collecting the 14 inch. I know when they came out, people flocked for them and then we saw a whole bunch go down on eBay for clearance prices and stores. I mean, I was buying some on eBay for, I think it was like Lex Luthor and Zod for like five bucks. And even that was probably more than I should have paid for them. Um, but there was quite a few hanging around and we just don't see them anymore. But again, I thought they were pretty cool. I like the scale. Um, I like that they came in boxes as opposed to bubble cards, which I don't think you could put these figures on a bubble card and pull apart. But uh, yeah, so that's it. So not sure what you guys are collecting today. Hopefully you guys are enjoying your collections. We encourage you guys to post your collections up on Meagle Like. Uh, please make sure that, you know, sometimes I forget to say this, but make sure you check out the other guys' YouTube videos. There's some really good guys doing some really good stuff. Um, David Eon, Open by Chance, does some great YouTubes. Johnny Shedrick's uh, MIB Master Museum. Uh, David Eon, let me, let me go a little bit back. So David has a basement that looks like a store. He loads racks, peg racks in there. I mean, it's unbelievable and he has knowledge into things that I can tell you most of us probably never even heard of. Johnny doesn't open anything. Everything is completely in the box, as you guys know. Absolutely amazing to see somebody who can buy these things and never open them, and he keeps them pristine. Uh, Rich Hurley's Dr. Durant's Sanctum. Uh, Rich Hurley does some really great videos, and I have to say that the one he just did recently on um, the Mad Monster Party for Brent Stalls is absolutely phenomenal. It's just a really good walk into the movie to see the characters. He did such a good job with it. He spent so much time working on it. He really deserves a lot of credit for it. Great. All these guys do these videos like this. They don't pop these out in two minutes like I do. These guys put some work into them. 
uh, Randall Wall, Mad Randall. There's a lot of YouTube videos out there, and a lot of these links are in the Meagle Like or on MyMeagleLike.com, which is where uh, we put. There's over 140 pages on there of action figures and related items and, and cool knockoff stuff and things like that. Uh, who am I missing? I'm always missing somebody, and I hate this stuff. I hate missing it. I really do because I don't like having anybody left. Oh, Raymond Sharif Castile, Raymond's Basement of Horror or Basement of Horror. I love when Ray does that. He's the best, best friggin' videos. Ray is a crazy monster collector, as is Rich Hurley. Uh, Ray, and I'll say this, I'll say it again, but I'm gonna keep saying it probably till I'm dead, is that Ray's Gallery of Monster Toys, or the Gallery of Monster Toys .com, which Ray put out in the 90s, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it was in the 90s, because I found it in 97, is the reason that I collect things like Tomland, uh, Lincoln Monsters, A High, Azric, and Knockoffs. Knockoffs just became my passion. Uh, 97, I put up the collectible action figure gallery. That was a lot to swallow in that big name, so we changed it to MeagleLike.com. MeagleLike.com, I think, is now some Asian porn channel. I have no idea. So we reopened as MyMeagleLike.com. Like I said, there's over 140 pages on there, and I probably have at least, every time it says, at least 100 more to put up. Tons. It's just so much to put up there. And I encourage you guys to send your requests of what would you like to see up there. Do you have lines you would like to see? Don't worry about it being Meagle-like. I know that's what the room's called, but that's not really what we do anymore. We do action figure stuff, related stuff. We talk about all kinds of things. We talk about TV shows, the Mandalorian movies. We make jokes. It's just a place where you can come and express yourself and enjoy yourself. And you can have difference of opinions without having to worry about getting kicked out or banned or your comments shut down or anything like that. We don't believe in that stuff. That's just not necessary. And we've got really great artists in there like David Gunn, Tony May. Wow, Toy Dan, Richard Glin uh, Glinsky, Dennis Glinsky, I say Richard, Dennis Glinsky. Uh, we have some great stuff from Felonious Fabrications, which if you don't know JS Starbuck, by, JS Starbuck by now, you need to know John Shipper, he's fantastic. We do all kinds of stuff. And you know, I got all these videos going up on this YouTube and I usually do them live and take comments in, but I figured I'd try and do something a little different. I'll do a little different this time and see how it goes. Our latest uh, addition to MyMeagleLike.com was the Empire Jeeps, Vans, and helicopters section, which took forever. Uh, there's a lot of stuff and there's still more to get. I'm still looking for a picture of the black back copter. I've seen one of them and it's quite rare. Normally they come in blue and uh, I just have to go find one to get it up there. I had a picture and I don't know where it went. But anyway, we'll do more and more videos, but we definitely encourage you guys to send in your contributions. Send them in because the whole point of Meagle Like and the MyMeagleLike.com webpage is for us to build it. It's not one person's journey for somebody like me to build and say, here, look at all these great things that I have or things that I found. No, it's for everybody to contribute. So we can all put something in and say, hey, we built this. There's plenty of other websites where people have gone in and they spent years helping to build and contributing. And they're not always thanked. They don't have to be rewarded, but they're not always thanked. And sometimes they're not quite treated well. And these guys get sick of it. And it's like, oh, we did all this nice stuff and you're not treating us well. Well, you know, then so be it. We're not going to have that here. This is a place we want you guys to come in and enjoy. Uh, in addition, we are trying to put together, uh, I'm working on trying to get together a get together, if you will, for the summer, where we can all come and hang out and try and find a common place. I know it's not easy for everyone. As we get older, it also gets harder to travel, to work, family, and things like that. But I'd like to put a get together together where we can come and relax and have some fun. Uh, the cost on it will probably be like a dollar. <laughs> Honestly, probably a dollar. I think we're going to fund uh, fund it. Uh, we like to get some people out there to show and you know to come and talk and enjoy. And we have some really good ideas that they're not doing at other places uh, that we would like to do that would be different. So it wouldn't just be coming to another show and a bunch of tables or everybody showing their stuff. Um, also, don't forget that there's some really great guys out there making some great toys. Brandon Noir is one of my favorite. They make really great Japanese type pop culture heroes space guys i love what they do um castaway toys doesn't exist anymore because it's now plastic zombie toys and although in all honesty there was some definite shipping concerns for some people i know i got my stuff on time some people did not and i get it and you know everybody has a life there's very few people here that make this their life i know there's some people do toys and everybody deserves to be communicated to and everybody deserves to be treated fairly i agree it's absolutely important that we do that um, no excuses for what went on. 
for some of the mistakes. That is what it is. I can't speak on that behalf because although I know the guys personally and they're both really for the most part phenomenal guys. I mean, I don't have any problems with them. I know some other people. Everybody's got an opinion on people, but you know, hopefully all that stuff will make do and everybody's happy now because I don't want to go around hearing that these guys did a bad thing. They didn't. They really put their heart and soul and passion into it. And it sucks that that happened. And, you know, it's a shame that it did go on. But the reality is, from the way I understand it, is that they literally took way more orders than they ever expected. They got quite the support. Hopefully uh, that went okay. Um, I think, you know, they just got to get their stuff done and happy for everyone and then it'll be good but I would tell people you know don't be too bitter because if you guys are still buying figures from some other companies and putting up with their B shit, BS or bullshit then this is nothing <laughs> so just use your better judgment please do not forget to support guys like Brent Stahls Brent Sorensen has gone from somebody that I've known for 25 years uh, I've met Brent I think at least once, maybe twice. Um, and Brent had one of the biggest fucking collections from back in the day. I remember, sold it off and started his own company. And Brent has just been making some amazing, amazing toys. They're phenomenal. I mean, the Mad Monster Party toys are absolutely fantastic. We'll do some videos and stuff like that. But you know, there's a whole bunch of other ones, I mean, that are out there. I'm just trying to think off the top of my head as I'm looking around what's going on here. You know, there's so much to talk about and there's so many good things that we can do for each other. And, you know, just love your toys and treat each other well. I think, you know, one of my probably favorite people in all the collecting for 25 years, not that there's not a whole bunch of you that I, you guys are awesome. I love you guys, you're fantastic. Some of you guys are phenomenal, but I have to say one of my favorites is Ray Castile. Now, everybody loves Ray, I think, or everybody loves Raymond and his monster stuff, his personality. What Ray does outside of his monster collecting to me is absolutely fantastic. He's just, I love what he does. His, his professional life I think is fantastic. Um, but Ray has always been a model for sticking to toys, right? Uh, I am far from innocent from stepping down from people that step on others. I don't believe people have the right to bully. And I believe if you're gonna bully someone or you're gonna treat them poorly, then somebody needs to open their mouth to put you in your place. And uh, that's unfortunate that those things even happen in this, but Ray has always been a shining beacon of light and a really honest guy. And he really tries to keep a very just toy plane. And I love that about him. You know, he's a great model for all of us to follow, even though it's difficult to do. And it's quite amazing how many toy collectors in the 40s, 50s, 60s range, and how much of the drama that goes on. It's, it's absolutely, to me, it's unbelievable. But it happens, and I'm just as much a part of it as anybody else. So, not innocent here. However, I will tell you that we do this because we want you guys to have a voice, and we want you guys to enjoy. And we want you guys to go into Meagle Like and post and say, hey, those 18 inch figures suck low. I would never buy that you know, piece of shit and that's okay. I'm not gonna ban you and I'm not gonna kick you out. That's fine, you're entitled to your opinion. There's nothing wrong with that. And we really encourage that. You know, um, before I end this video, I just wanna say to all you guys out there that are right now, things are going on in the world, money's a little tight. Inflation's going up, gas is going up. You know, people have been at each other's throat for a couple of years now. I think being in the house of COVID has been a little tough. But I would tell you that um, all you guys out there that are that are you know keeping it real, and you guys that are working hard to you know keep your lives on track and uh, keep your families happy and your friends and all that, that's it's good for you guys. For those of you that are having some tough times, I know some of you have reached out to me having some tough times. Listen, just stay strong. We want you to to be good. We're all pulling for you. If there's anything we can ever do over here, we're all here to help. Uh, we really believe that it's a community and that it's not an elite group of people looking down on a, a less elite group of people. It's not what we want to do here. We want it to be elite. So uh, yeah, we don't want this video too much off track with toys, but we just want to say thank you guys. It comes from all of us, the admins, the experts, and everybody that's in the room. You guys have done a phenomenal job. It's been quite a run for two years. I think we've had Mego like the, the page put up as a Facebook group page, as opposed to just a page where somebody was advertising his own stuff. and. We don't need to worship anybody here. We need to we need to really share and be a group and, and talk and uh, 
you know, there's a lot of good minds in here and uh, a lot of good toys. So share. Some of you guys have done some great stuff. Let, let me just say this. Some of you guys have done some amazing customs. And Mitch Castillo, if you ever see this, I have to tell you, man, I love that you're in there every damn day posting your customs. Bro, your stuff is phenomenal. You do a great job. And if I miss somebody in this video, I apologize. I'm sure things will come up. But Mitch, your stuff is fantastic. You don't say too much. You're quite quiet, but you do a great job. Tony May, you're another quiet one. Your shit is on point, brother. Phenomenal. Buck, another quiet one. Do a great job. A lot of you guys out there are doing some really great customs, and it's good to see. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. And uh, let's see what we can do to get this shit together and build the community stronger. Peace.